Hi guys, welcome to the second chapter of my sidestepping guide. My name is Buddy, and I'm going to improve your sidestepping skills today. Uh, just to remind you guys, this guide is a part of my series where I will cover all Tekken Tag 2 characters for you. Uh, I received some feedback on my last chapter from you guys, thanks for that. And uh, also I received some character requests, so today we're gonna cover Bob, as most of you ask for that, for him. Uh, let's first check what Nobby advises to do against Bob, and that is sidestep right in the close range and sidestep left in the mid range. Okay, uh, just like just like the last time, we're gonna cover only the close range, so only the high pressure situations. A uh, few words on Bob first. He's a really hard to deal with in close range. He really he has tons of good pokes and tracking moves. Uh, which are really hard to sidestep. So, uh, so today I'm gonna—I'm not only going to tell you how to sidestep each of the moves, uh, but also I will share a general strategy on how to handle the pressure with you, with you guys. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's just impossible to anticipate or react to all the moves every time. So, so we need to apply some kind of strategy while playing against character like Bob. Uh, so I will call that strategy the short stepping. Short stepping. Basically, it's just it's just pressing back after just after side stepping. Uh, but I will get back to that get later. Ready for the next and now let's go for the best pokes and uh, most abused moves of Bob. Okay, let's start with down forward one. Uh, you can't really side step right. Uh, in this one in very close range. Uh, it's only possible to side walk right. Uh, when some distance is applied. This, is, this, this move is the, main, the main reason to stay patient while dealing with Bob's pressure, really. Uh, down forward one is the move which you really need to exclude from his poking game, and to do that you need to apply some distance. Uh, it is possible to go left, but it's really really hard to execute and, and you, don't want to, you don't want to just mix your directions. I mean, it's really hard to, to go one way against all the moves but it's not good it's not a good idea to get so uh, just apply some distance and go right okay next we have down forward two uh, you sidestep right just pretty simple to sidestep uh, it's fast high crushing pole like launcher so really it, it launches only on counter hit but still it's a great move which we really need to evade as much as possible really so just sidestep right that's one of the main reasons why you want to go right against Bob uh, to avoid that down forward too and then uh, punish it to the launcher every time okay another move which Bob players abuse quite a lot uh, is forward forward plus two uh, it's it's easy to sidewalk left and it's possible to sidestep left as well uh, you cannot really sidestep right on this one. If you are using the short sidestep uh, right strategy, then just backdash after blocking it. If you sidestep right, block, uh, Bob is on minus 8 frames disadvantage, so he cannot really keep the pressure after this one. And if you backdash, he tries to attack, uh, it will just whip and you, and you, and you launch it. That's it. Uh, now, down one. Yeah. Keep in mind guys that this move has been nerfed since uh, Tekken 6 and now it's not as terrifying as it was in previous games. So just keep that in mind and uh, sidewalk both ways works, sidestepping doesn't work at all. I mean you can sidewalk it uh, either left or right, doesn't matter, but you cannot sidestep that one. And it's still, it's still it's not so bad to block this move, so you can still apply the, the short stepping strategy. Uh, it's minus 9 on block, so Bob cannot really keep the pressure after this one. After blocking this, just interrupt with any fast save mid, and uh, he will not be able to, to keep pressure, pressure uh, just don't Just don't punch, just don't... Uh, Panically press punches because uh, high options will just get crashed by uh, while sending Bob's options. So, yeah. If you get hit by D1, by down one, just don't move. Do not try to sidestep either way. Bob has a few wild standing options which will connect if you try to sidestep. 
Uh, two of these are while standing 1-3 and while standing 1-2. Uh, if you block the first hit of while standing 1-3 on or 1-2, you cannot size, you cannot sidestep the second one. Just just wait. While standing 1-3 is punishable, it's 14 frames disadvantage. And while standing 1-2 is, uh, is 7 frames disadvantage on block. And the second one is high. So just it's just better to wait. It, still these moves and Bob's pressure. He cannot he cannot really apply any more pressure after this one, even if you block it. So yeah. Especially if you block it. Uh, another of uh, Bob's while standing option is uh, while standing two and an extension. However, both of the extensions are are punishable, so I'm not sure if any of any decent Bob player would just go YOLO and, and do while standing two one or two two. So yeah, but still you need to keep in mind and. Uh, if you want to be fancy, you can just uh, sidestep left both of his extensions. So uh, while standing 2-1 and while standing 2-2, two, two, they are both punishable, but you, you can still sidestep both of the extensions and lunge punish both. So just keep that in mind, maybe it might be useful. Now back to two, another abuse poke. Uh, very easy to sidestep or sidewalk right. But, uh, however, if you're using the short stepping, you just shortly step and block. You need to duck the second hit, or otherwise you will just block that. So yeah, for the best punish, just uh, if you're short stepping, just short step, block and duck. You can see that you can you can react to that and lunge. If uh, if you're just going with side walking and side stepping just the other way you will side step that with, with ease just uh, go right on that one um, next is 2-1 string mm. side step uh, side step right avoid first hit you'll, you'll block the second hit if you if you do not side walk side walking works perfectly both ways uh, avoid both hits so uh, that's the best option. I mean, that's the best option if you if you don't want to apply the short stepping. Uh, you can side walk both ways. It's easier to go right. Side step works uh, works better for the right side. Uh, that's it. It, it, it. This one is pretty simple. If you really want to go left, you can try, but I see no point in that. Just side do, side step or side walk right. Pretty easy. Now, back one, two. Uh, you can sidestep or side move left to avoid this move. Uh, that's pretty easy. easy. But again, that's uh, that's guessing. I mean, going left is not a good idea. For sidestep right, it is possible, but it's uh, hard to do very strict timing. Still, it's possible to go right and uh, or sidewalk to for to avoid two hits. Uh, back one two is another move which ends Bob pressure as it is nine minus nine frames on block. So if you block it, you can just use some safe mid to keep Bob away. So I would recommend doing that. Now it's time for some of uh, Bob's crouch dash moves, and uh, first we're gonna check the crouch dash four two hell sweep. Uh, you can sidewalk hell sweep right pretty easily. Uh, be careful though, you need to block the mid after evading the low, so just keep that in mind. And uh, surprisingly, well-timed sidestep right can avoid health sweep as well. It's, you know, it's not really a strategy against it, as it requires really, really strict timing. But uh, it's another argument for short stepping while facing ball. Just take that in co into consideration. Okay, next on the list, crouch dash 1. It's easy to deep sidestep right, uh, it's impossible to side sidestep or sidewalk left though. Uh, it's actually hard to apply the strategy of short stepping, short step and block, as you will block the move instead of sidestepping if you just cancel the sidestep early into block. I mean, uh, you need a really deep sidestep or sidewalk right to avoid uh, crouch dash 1. If you didn't manage to sidestep that, just blocked it, 
It's better not to attack yet. It's it's only minus two on block for Bob, so uh, it might be often used as a bite move to, to create an opening in your defense. So just watch out. Do not do not just hustle uh, after blocking that. And now crouch dash one plus two. Uh, sidewalk right works in this case but the timing on that is hell strict so it's not really worth the try i mean uh, it's hard to anticipate this move so guessing is not really the best option here um, and beside all that it's minus 10 on block so bob cannot apply any more uh, pressure after you block it so just just short step right block that's it uh, let's go to down back 3 plus 4 now. Sidewalking both ways work in this case, but it's, it's almost impossible to sidestep. It's really a brain fucker and strategy breaker, as you cannot really short step and block because of this one. If if Bob starts to abuse this, there's no other way than just start, start sidewalking and uh, punish him with a launcher a few times, so you teach him a lesson that you, he cannot abuse that. But still, this, this, that's one of the least moves which actually can force you to, to stop just short stepping. And you can you can sidewalk, but it's still a bit of a guess. I mean, that's really hard to hard to deal with. Uh, if you get hit by this, you're in minus eight frames disadvantage. So better do not move. I mean, for example, both down one cannot be interrupted after you, you get hit by this. So just keep your defense. Uh, now guys, let's go through a few simple scenarios which might uh, which might happen when uh, Bob is applying pressure. And, uh, first one will, will include down back three, a low attack which cannot really be sidestepped right. It, you can sidestep left, but still I will show you the I will show you why it's still better to size the bride and even get hit by it. Uh, it's plus two on hit for Bob, so you're in minus. Yeah, you're in the dis disadvantage. You know, he, he can try apply more pressure, but uh, yeah, after sidestepping right and even getting hit by down back three, uh, yeah. He might try to continue the pressure or do a hop kick or, or do an SS uh, sidestep 1 plus 2 are some options of course he can mix it up even more but uh, let's let's go through these three options uh, down uh, down to 1 for a longer range uh, pressure hop kick and sidestep 1 plus 2 in case if you want to just punish or, or, or interrupt or do whatever uh, in case if he does a hop kick almost always uh, yeah, he will just block it and punish I mean, it might even happen that it whiffs uh, if he does a sidestep one plus two it will whiff for sure and uh, and uh, and for the pressure uh, you will just see if you if you do if you do the back there's uh, deep enough and you will whiff as well so general strategy stays the same just keep sidestepping to the right blocking and if you get hit by down back three, just back dash. That's essential here. If you get hit after sidestepping right with down back three, just back dash deeply, or even uh, make two two back dashes, and uh, see what happens. In most cases, Bob will whiff if he tries to keep pressure, and uh, you can with punish him with a launcher. And uh, the tricky part on that is, if you do not sidestep right just before uh, getting hit with down back three. You cannot really backdash much. You cannot. You cannot force him to whiff. I mean, the the axis just doesn't do its magic, and yeah, you will stay in a close range still, and Bob can just apply the pressure or, or try whatever he wants still. So back, yeah, backdashing after sidestepping right side when you get hit by down back three. It sounds uh, complicated, but uh, you can see, as you can see on the screen, it's not that hard to apply. Okay, uh, let's go to the next scenario. This one includes uh, two-one string, and that one is already a bit more complicated. Still, it, it requires some practice, but uh, you will manage it. It's doable. 
Uh, for that one you need to sidestep right shortly and block. You will definitely sidestep the first uh, first hit of the string, so two, and you will block the second hit. After you block the second hit, start to sidewalk uh, right. Just start it, so, so the first uh, frames of an animation of the sidewalk starts and then block. That's the best option to do after you after you see two one string. I mean, when you block the the punch the one on that string, you're already in a you're already in a good range to side uh, sidewalk down forward one. So that's the key moment where you can actually you can actually force Bob to stop using down forward one. If you're in that range, you can you actually can sidewalk uh, down forward one. So that really that eliminates a lot of options for for Bob. So even if he does a hop kick or or any other move, you can simply avoid it. And uh, still, if you just start to sidewalk and block, you will also block sidestep one plus two. This is essential because he can he can mix it up uh, quite often. But uh, yeah, anyway, that that ends his pressure. And if he does uh, down forward one, you can even punish it with a launcher if your uh, if your reaction is good enough. So that is more clip, more, more complicated strategy, but it works uh, flawlessly, and it's, uh, yeah, it's really it's really worth it. So try it. Uh, yeah, now it's the time for the one down forward one, one down forward one, and so on, so on. Spam. So that this 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 is really hard to handle. However, still, uh, the best technique is to just shortly size the bright. And uh, yeah, if you successfully sidestep the punch, do not try to lunge punish. Uh, you will you will just get uh, hit with another down forward one or down forward two, whatever goes. So uh, if you manage to see that successful sidestep, just try to punch with punches, one two or, or whatever. But do not go for the launcher yet. I mean, uh, it's still very difficult to sidestep the punch after blocking down, down forward one. So, in this case, you just need to short step until Bob does something else. That's that's really the best strat. I mean, this is the safest one. If, if you can manage to, to sidestep and block fast enough, it's the safest option. Uh, however, you can try to mix it up with uh, with interruption. I mean, it is possible to interrupt uh, Bob's attack after you block down forward one. But you know, you can just you can just encounter an evasive move. I mean, he can uh, he can do sidestep one plus two. He can do back forward one. He can do down back one plus two for lunge. So it's not really it's not really a good idea to just try interrupting him. I mean, uh, just stay patient. His patience will will finish eventually. He will run out of it, and uh, he will do yeah down forward two or a hop kick or or even a throw. So uh, I will talk about the throw uh, in a moment. Just just keep blocking and uh, sidestepping until he does something which you can really punish, and uh, that is the most safe uh, strategy in my view. Uh, yeah, and as a last thing, uh, short remark on uh, Bob's uh, throw, one plus two throw. It's a forward, forward, one plus two. It's one of the most dangerous uh, throws in the game. So if you're not really uh, that great at breaking throws, just keep your fingers ready on the one plus two, just to be ready to break that throw because it's a. It works great in mix-ups and in, uh, in close range and uh, while applying pressure. I mean, Bob, uh, if, if if a Bob player sees that uh, his his pressure doesn't <clears throat> doesn't really work on you, he will just start throwing you as well. So you need to be ready to bro break this throw. It's uh, it's really essential part it's essential part because it, this the, th the throw is a launcher, so you will lose like half of your uh, health bar. So yeah, it's really important. It is possible to, to sidestep the throw as well, but it really depends on uh, on the momentum on, uh, which uh, Bob player used. So you cannot really rely on that. You have to be ready to, to break that throw. 
Okay, so that's it for this chapter of the guide. I hope it will help you guys beating these horrible Bob spammers. <laughs> uh, you need to be careful playing online though. It's uh, it's way harder to apply fa apply fast movement like uh, short stepping due to the latency. I mean, even if you play on five bar connection, it will still affect your execution. And then that bit might be enough just to mess it all up. I mean, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, I placed some time links for you guys in the description, so uh, if you need to jump directly to one of the moves described in this video, uh, you can just simply click the link. Uh, oh, and uh, for these of you guys who watch this series for the first time, check out my previous chapter uh, which covers Alisa. It's, it's less detailed than this one, but I actually think Alisa needs less attention in terms of sidestepping than Bob, so it's alright. Uh, okay guys, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel and leave me some feedback uh, in the comment section. And yeah, take care and uh, see you guys.